So, mental sex getting off to a good start now. Hello and welcome to uh, News and Brief at 5.30. Now, this story should touch your heart to donate generously. Six-year-old Bernard Quay is suffering from tuberculosis of the spine, a condition which was later diagnosed during treatment of an eye ailment. Now, Bernard is currently incapacitated, but doctors say he can walk after surgery. It's been two years since six-year-old Bernard last walked. He was diagnosed with spinal tuberculosis during the treatment of what appeared to be an eye problem. After taking 20 of 30 injections prescribed by doctors, Bernard's parents realized their son's legs were numb and subsequently left him partially incapacitated. No, Bernard currently lives with his father in this dilapidated kiosk at Jamestown in Accra. His mother abandoned him when he was diagnosed with the disease. The executive director of Street Children Empowerment Foundation Paul Semer said he found Bernard Quay in front of a makeshift home. We realized that this boy had been uh, abandoned for two years for an amount that was involved was 60 cities. And that was quite an issue for me and for my team. We were all in tears about this. And we felt the need to immediately seek medical attention for these boys. However, Bernard's current home is a threat to his health as much as it is to his survival. He needs about 3,000 Ghana cities to relocate, help save a life. The doctor says it's typically a situation where he will have TB because it's not conducive for him to be there. So it's a direct appeal to anybody watching. Little Bernard needs help relocated immediately. By now, I'm sure you are touched by that story. Passed by TV3 and donate generously to help save Bernard's life. We're back at 7 with News 360.